All right, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash, double honors to the Apostle of Elder, Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful let scattered around the four winds of the earth. Um, shallow on to the prophets and Akim out there pushing words to see it in the truth. And the sisters, shallow on to the sister Akim and not walk out there listen, learning in our truth and in our sincerity. Shalakim, shallow on. All right. <clears throat> it's the brother Amnawa Allah. Coming back with another lesson, Lord willing, I pray to be edifying, all right? Um, uh, today's lesson is going to be labor not to be rich, but only rich towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So with that, I want to get right into this lesson. Um, Proverbs 23 and 4, it says labor not to be rich, all right? And let's get that word labor just for edification's sake, okay? That word labor is... Strong's H 3021. Yagah. 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 Okay. And it goes into what? To toil. To labor. It say gather, grow weary, be weary. To grow weary, to be weary, to toil, to labor, to weary, make weary, cause to go to most, to mostly, to make, to toil, to make, uh, make weary, cause to be weary. So weary, labor, faint. Okay, you go down to the strong definition. It say to grasp, hence to be ex exhausted, to tire, to toil, to faint, to weary, to make labor, to be weary, man. So right. So when the, when the scripture say Proverbs twenty three and four say labor not to be, um, labor not to be rich. So don't 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 labor. Don't worry yourself with being rich. Don't on um, to on um, toward yourself. And be rich because a lot of people are aware of, <clears throat> as the scriptures say, um, it said that, that um, um, the people, um, they honor him with their mouth, but their heart is far from them. They, 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 they go after their convictionness, um, roughly paraphrasing, man, that they, they fear towards him and talk about the precepts of men. Okay. A lot of our people in this word, they're laboring. They use your how about she, how shy as like a genie, man. They use the Lord as a way to be able to have prosperity in this world. That's where the um, the, the plantation church, man, the Baptist church, you know, us down here in the South, most of us will, will grew up in the Baptist church, man. And all the, they talk about it as doing the right thing and will um, gain you prosperity in this life. And that's far from the truth. That's why the scripture say what? I'm going to read again, Proverbs 23 and 4, say labor not to be rich. Right. Don't weary yourself with being rich, man. OK, because you have about how I said that his servant shall eat, his servant shall drink and his servant shall rejoice. Man, and that goes toward the times that we heading into, because what we know, let, let's, let's think about prophecy. That's the reason why I'm kind of doing this lesson tied in together, because we know, as the scriptures say, that on um, the grind is still seized. So understanding these times, your flesh will try to uh, will try you, man. OK. And you have to fight over the spirit because in the flesh is going to things that we're going to head into is going to make our flesh uneasy. But uh, we have to um, uh, don't we have to not um, let that shake us. We have to um, be um, be not um, um, we have to have that faint with, um, without wavering, that faith without wavering in these times, because it's going to come a time when we also may, as the scripture say, the just shall live by faith. Nevertheless, I'm going to carry on. It say Proverbs 23 and 4, labor not to be rich, seize from thine own wisdom, because our own wisdom would tell us that um, the wisdom of this world will tell you that riches, gold, silver, and things of that nature is going to prepare you to be able to overcome the different calamities or the downfall of this system monetarily, not knowing what the prophecy is saying, okay? Because with the naked eye, it seems like, oh, everything is going to be all right, but we're finna head into a time of discomfort. But if you have money, you'll be able to stand it because as the script say, uh, uh, <clears throat> money is a defense. But we know that riches profit not in the day of wrath, man. Okay. What profit a man if he gained the whole world but lose his soul? Because that's ultimately what we're laboring for. We we're laboring to 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 win salvation and to ultimately to save our lives, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that started with the the the, the hundred and forty four thousand. The, the 12,000 of each tribe of the 12 tribes of um, the nation of Israel, okay, and the one-third, man, okay, which is going to be consistent of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, down to you so-called Hispanics. You are the children of the Heavenly Father. You are Yasha Allah, and salvation is only for you, okay? But nevertheless, I'm going to go back to verse 5, Proverbs 23 and 5. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? 
right? Because guess what? If you understand how this monetary system is set up, which was set up by the Federal Reserve, the dollar is backed by nothing. It's backed by uh, back by it's backed by broken promises and, 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 and things that never um, substantiate. It's basically like okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this back off of what we say. Esau's might is backed by the dollar, but not actual money because we know that money is gold and silver, man. But guess what? Even in that day, gold and silver is not gonna deliver you from the wrath of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, okay. Verse 5, it said, Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Right, man. They're going to fly away. Because also we know that what's a true um, 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 agenda of the wicked elite, man. They want to um, um, trip everybody, man. They, 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 that mark of the beast, man. Okay. Which is the RFID microchip, man. Okay, N never forget um, Revelation 13 says that no man will be able to buy nor sell, say he that had the mark of seed on the, 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 on the, the number of the beast, uh, uh, the, uh, worship the, 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 um, the number of the beast and receive that image, man. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? All right? So that's what ultimately is the plan of the wicked elite. So knowing these things, what is riches of this world going to profit you? Okay? What what is that gonna substantiate you in the times? That's why the scripture said, "Give me neither private nor riches, but give me food that is convenient for me." Okay. Never forget that the Lord Yahweh Bashim said He would never forsake forsake us nor leave us, man. That we would know that Yahweh Bashim is our guide, man. Okay, because the times we coming into, um, um, Esau is about to put the squeeze. He about to start pushing that pressure on the world because why? Through his uh, draconian measures, man. Okay, and first of all, he's going to start crashing this dollar, which is going to make everybody uncomfortable. And we're going to come to a time where truly we're going to have to depend on um, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh providing for us in these times and to help us come over and, and, and get the victory, man. That's what we're laboring for now. Yes, we take care of our necessary means because guess we know a man don't work, he don't eat. Okay, and we get the things that's needful for us for the days to come. But we know awesome, man. Um, who who says you're going to be at home? Who says you're going to be um, able to get to those goods or get to that um, bomb shelter, or that bunker, or whatever that you may think you need to get carnally? Okay. Those things that you prepare for you because they, they said who, those that are in the field go back not to the um, the house, man. Okay. Those in the house on the house top coming out down to the house, man, to grab their coat, man. Because in that day, what East Scott saw is going to go, man. Okay. He's going to go looking in your houses, man. They're going to go to door to door searches, man. Martial law. Okay, military uh, troops all in the streets. So knowing in these times, you're not to mentally depart from this world and also settling in your mind that at one point, we're going to have to leave everything behind. That means your wallet, your keys, your cars, this life, uh, and whatever you have, Bashim Shai does not predestinate to be with you along in that journey towards a uh, enduring to the end of Jacob's trouble. Lord, when will we be delivered? Okay, First Timothy 6 and verse 17, it says... Charge them that are rich in this world, right? Jake's to um Jake uh, um the Jake's that are set up in this world, or even Jake's that are not necessarily celebrities. There's a lot of Jake's that's doing well off that have state jobs, government, federal jobs, or who had just labored over a period of time when the economy was substantial and they cashed out on your four hundred one k's and things of that nature, man. Okay. It say charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded because a lot of people trust in that. Okay, they get puffed up. That they have money, but richer they don't have money because ultimately the true money is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because we know that wisdom is, is uh, better than weapons of war, man. Okay? It says, no trust in uncertain riches because we know that these riches are going to be here today, going tomorrow. That's prophesied in the scripture, which I'm going to get after I read these couple of precepts. But in the living God, which is Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Because we know also that um, um, alms cover up a multitude of sins. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be present ourselves um, uh, um, blameless before you have by Shem Yahweh We're trying to wash away that filth that Lord willing, he have the mercy upon us. Okay. That he might um, redeem us in these times to come, man. That's where you can't put your um your heart your 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 um desires into this system. That's why a lot of our people in these coming days they're gonna faint in the day of adversity because their strength is small because they truly don't depend on the Holy One of Israel. That's why they're gonna go down to Egypt for help. 
And we know that destruction is going to come up to them because they're going to lean their hand on that broken reed and it's going to pierce their hands, which is awesome. They're going to take the RFID market trip, which is the mark of the beast, because they're going to seek to save their life. And they're going to ultimately lose it because you have by Shemi is going to destroy them, man. Because if you take the RFID market trip, which is the mark of the beast, you will be destroyed. Thus of the Lord, you will drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out of poured out without mixture and the cup into an indignation we will torment before the holy angels in the presence of the lamb man okay first timothy first timothy 6 18 that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate verse 19 laying up in store for themselves a good foundation right a solid foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life because you never know what's going to be that one thing that's going to um grant you that um protection that day um, I'll give an example of the brothers in my camp. Um, I never forget the brother part thumb. He, he said, man, those arms, you never know that, that that arm that you may give to a brother might be the one thing that allow for you to escape, um, uh, calamity and drink with trouble, man. Okay. You never know what's going to ask me. Um, um, cause guess what? This money, we're storing up these riches toward the most high. So there's time when that debt is to be paid, man, we'll have, um, that debt because we know that we were bought with a price that we have enough money in our storehouses spiritually. That we'll be able to guess what give when it's time for that bill to be cashed out, man. Okay? Because the Lord, you have about your shots when it come back to war. Every man according to his works, whether he did good or whether he did evil. And a lot of people are not storing up spiritually. Okay? Because guess what? When this family hit, <clears throat> spiritual that spiritual family, when this word is taken away, hey, did you have everything that you need? Okay? Are you going to be ready for the bridegroom when he comes? Are you going to have that oil in your lamps, man? Are you going to be trimming your lamps? Are you going to be like the foolish virgins? And when the, when the bridegroom came, you're not going to have enough oil. You're going to try to go to the buyers that, and um, go, to, go to those that have the oil and try to buy. But they're going to say, go to the buyers who sell, man. I mean, go to the sellers and buy from them, you know, Salakia, okay? But guess what? It's going to be too late because you're going to get left behind. You're going to miss the boat, as the old Jake in the world like to say, man. Because why you store your riches in, on earth will moss and rough through corrupt, will will uh, will thieves break through and steal. But you didn't so it. You ain't try to be rich toward your high by shimmy have shy. Okay, <clears throat> because of the times that we coming into, man. Guess what? Everybody's gonna feel the financial woes, regardless of are you LeBron James, regardless of you Warren Buffett or whatever, man. The Lord, the Lord said, rich or great, uh, rich. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's like you. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let me grab that. I am going to need to butcher it. And I'm going to go back to class these. Revelation 3, and I started verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun to receive a mark, which that mark goes into the word karagma and the root word going to karax. Karagma is the actual, um, matter of fact, let's get it <clears throat> just for edification's sake. That's how we know that it's an actual physical mark and not a spiritual mark as the spiritual mark of exemption in Ezekiel 9 and 24. Karagma, it's a, a stamp, a imprinted mark. Okay. We go down to number two, thing carved, sculpture, or graven work, man, right. So that mark is going to be the actual um, uh, RFID mark, which is the size of a grain of rice that they're going to uh, implement. As you see, they use the leaders of this world, which cause our people to err. You know, Lil Uzi Vert said he's going to take a brain chip in his, uh, his forehead, man. Hey, the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem Yashah will come to pass near right before your eyes. But guess what? We want to know that um, um, he's only given to the elect. Okay, and the in Karak, as I was saying, the, uh, the root word of Karagma, we know that it's actually talking about the it's a, a pale or state, a palisade. Okay, it's a um, so we know that it's talking about an extra instrument, it's a sharpen to the point, an extra instrument, which is that syringe that you use to inject the um RFID microchip into the skin. Okay, so that's what. It's going to come to pass. You're not going to be able to buy nor sell. It's going to affect the whole world. It's going to be a whole worldwide event because it's going to be a part of the new world order agenda. But we know that we're not supposed to take that because if you do, you're going to be destroyed by your high by That's the sin of the Lord. Read Revelation 14. Okay. That's why scripture say, blessed is he that readeth. 
Okay, but a lot of our people ain't reading and they're not obtaining wisdom because as the script say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and the strength of our salvation. The fear of the Lord is treasure. And we know that the the, the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But the only way you're going to be able to get wisdom is by leisure. Because if you occupied and working and doing the things of this world, you're laboring to be rich. You're not going to be found where wisdom lies, man. As the scripture says in the Apocrypha, which I get after this, in class these 12 and 1, it says, remember not thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right? Who our creator is, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, while the evil days come not. Right? Jacob's trouble. Okay? Daniel's 12 and 1. A time like never before, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, because we know that the mirth of the land is gone. And the, 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 the further we get close to the doors, we're going to see how this thing is not going to even be even funny anymore. It's going to be real, and it's gonna, we're going to be living it. <clears throat> That's why right now, when you have time to get right and be prepared, to be able to to uh, to, to stand in the rain and did all to stand, you better take heed. Because this is a warning unto you. Verse 2, it says, While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, right, the economies. Okay, you seeing all these people, these CEOs, they selling out their companies, moving to these other nations. Okay, they're bailing because they see this place crumbling down. Okay. But guess what? Two thirds of our people, they're not even taking heed to the one. They see the opportunity now to, to move up in the ranks. They're trying to move up in a burning house, man. They're trying to get a higher. They're trying to get on the higher floor of a house that's going to burn, man. They're trying to get in the, 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 the suites. OK. They say in the day when the keepers of the house should tremble and they're trembling. Because they see that this place is going to fall down upon his face. And that a new thing is going to emerge, which is going to be that beach system. OK. It say, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders, and they were grinders, grinding goes into working and the grinders sees because they are few. And guess what? That whole thing that they're talking about moving the uh, minimum wage to $15, man, they're going to people. Hey, Jake think that's going to benefit them. But guess what? You're going to lose a lot of jobs back. And guess what? Not even to turn everything to robotics, man. Use their robots because the robots don't need to get paid. They don't complain. They don't take off sick leave. Okay. It's a new digital age that is coming, man. You're going to be the ones that are going to be asked out. Okay? Never forget the scripture. They're going to be, um, <clears throat> they should uh, lament for the teats and for the fruitful vine, man. A lot of our people are going to lament for the goods of what Esau Edom has given them. They're weak and all these different supplements, the government aid and housing assistance. These things are going to be taken away and snatched from you because all this money that they're pumping, this inflation they're pumping into the economy is going to make it make that bubble burst. And guess who's going to feel the effects of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Because we, as the script say, the servant is um, um, borrowed to the lender, man. You're going to get asked out. You're going to get a short end of the stick because this world was not for your, uh, it's for you to celebrate in, but for you to mourn and get repent. And you're supposed to catch hell here because we transgressed the law, statutes, commandments. So the heavenly Father, you have by Shem, you have and we turned our back on our power. So these curses fell upon us. But our people have it, they, they, they not hear this new song in the time to come. Okay, it said, verse 4, and the doors shall be, no, nah, Salakia. I'm going to go back to verse 3. In the days when, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder sees because they are few. And you, we see that now. A lot of people lost jobs when the pandemic, um, the the, the, uh, the pandemic first hit, man. And those that look out the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. You see a lot of people fleeing these major cities that was uh, money markets. New York is one prime example. You see the things that happen over there in California. All these major cities are losing money because of these different shutdowns and different um. Um, regulation that they're putting, but guess what? All these things for the multiply because it's going to be more lockdowns and, and things of that nature that are going to happen fully because they already said, um, Bill Gates already said there's another um, pandemic that's coming after um, the, 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 the C2019, uh, man. Okay? And guess what they're trying to do? They, they're trying to use you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans at the forefront of, of taking this inoculation to destroy you. Because never forget, this, this devil agenda is depopulation, man. Okay? Carrying on, it said, and when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise with the voice of the bird, and that all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And we're seeing these things happen right before our eyes. That's why the Lord told us about these things. Matter of fact, <clears throat> I want to get that precept that I quoted. Um... 
because the only way you're going to get that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, well, the wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of your time. is by taking heed, man, instead of you laboring in things of this world and be occupied in it to where you're tiring yourself out, you, you, you're reaping and sowing in tears when you have holes in your pockets <laughs> because you, you're still cursed, but you're trying to chase at the illusion of the American dream. You're not ultimately obtaining the things that are going to save you truly, okay? What's going to truly deliver you because we know that wisdom bring them forth to a kingdom. That works that you're seeking for is only going to be obtained through wisdom. Because the scriptures say, um, seek after the kingdom of heaven, all these things shall be added unto you. Okay. Um, Ecclesiastes 38 and 24 say, the wisdom of a learned man come up by opportunity of leisure, right? Having time to actually sit down and study, man. We all fall victim to working. Okay. But at the same time, you got to manage your time and understand and put your priorities in position to know what's important. Is chasing this dollar that's going to fade away is important or chasing the true wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, which is the true money, the true riches, because they say uh, wisdom is better than rubies. And nothing is to be compared unto wisdom, man. Okay. And he that have little business shall become wise, right? Because the thing that you need to be occupied in is what? And as the Lord say, occupied till I come. Uh, Classic is 38 and 25. And how can he get wisdom that hold the plow, right? Which is an instrument for working, okay? Laboring. And that um, glorifier in the God that drive of the oxen and is occupied in their labors and and whose talk is in bullock. Man, how how can you obtain wisdom? Now you understand it. Because you never forget, not only learn it, you got to retain this. You got to retain this wisdom and knowledge. You got to be in you because the days that come, man, as the scripture say, and those evils be as pillars upon the earth. And who say you may have the scriptures with you or not? God have had this thing ingrained in you. The only way you better do it is by staying occupied in, in the words of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, man, which is this truth and this book and these, uh, the Holy Spirit. Luke 12. <clears throat> because these are terrible times that we had into Akim. Okay, and you few Akwath. Who, who who listen and learn and truly believe in this truth, man? Okay, Luke twelve and sixteen it said, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, the ground the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years and take thine ease and eat, drink and be merry. We know that the Lord says in the scripture that the Lord is going to search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled upon their leaves. They say they say in their hearts that the most high won't do good, nor will they do evil, man. And that's a lot of our people. They feel like they because they've been saving that 401k. They got invested in stocks. They doing the different things that's going on to and get a quick dollar. But guess what? At any given time, Esau can freeze all your accounts. They can declare martial law. You won't be able to touch none of your money <clears throat> because you haven't invested in something. Okay. And they say the only way you better get this money is by taking what the RFID microchip. Okay. Which is the mark of the beast. And if and a lot of Jake feel like that their money they have paper wise that they have put up in these different under their mattress, you know how Jake get down. They might have money uh, stacked away in a wall somewhere for years, you know, whatever they do, shoebox that is going to uh, allow them to be able to get over that hump. But guess what? Hey, better days are not coming, man. They're only going to get go, go downhill from here. OK, and who's going to deliver you in a day? Who's going to save you? Because we know that, guess what, in that day, um, um, it's going to be great tribulation. And, and, and no man should have pity upon his neighbor because what? Lack of bread. Okay? He said, never forget the scripture say, um, um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wet cold in that day. So all the people that know the things that you have, they're going to be the main ones that come through your house, searching the house with, with, with the sword, which we know the sword that there is, the modern gun. Okay? Because guess what? They're going to be lacking and, and, and don't have what they need, man. Who can deliver you out of the Lord's hand? If the Lord's required it of you. And that's what this parable is going into. Verse 20, it says, But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who, sh who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that left up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. That's going to happen to a lot of our people 
because instead of being rich toward the most high, they save up things for their sales, man. Okay? Which is a foolish thing to do. Okay? Because the scriptures say this. Um, Sirach 11 <clears throat> and 17, because guess what? Those that truly believe in the most high, we know that the angels of the Lord are camped by those that fear him and deliver them, man. Okay? The Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation, man. Okay? Look at the generation of the old, man. Whoever trusts in the Lord and what's confounded, not one. The classic is 11 and 17. The gift of the Lord remaineth with the ungodly. And his favor bring a prosper. So like you, the gift of the Lord remaineth with the ungodly. And his favor bring of prosperity forever. Okay? It said, there is that wax of rich by his weariness and pinching, and this is the portion of his reward, right? This is the portion of a man that laboring to be rich. Listen to this. Verse 19, whereas he saith, I have found rest, because guess what? A lot of people will sell them. A lot of Jake is, hey, a lot of Jake say, we good, man. I get what we made it through a pandemic. Ain't that what the rappers say all the time? Okay. They said they blessed because they, 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 they ran it up during the pandemic. Some of Jake made the most money in their life during this time, man. Not knowing they are deceived. By their own vain imagination, man. They lean into their own understanding, not knowing that this thing is finna flip upside down on their head, man. It also, but guess what? Hey, hey, what what can a man profit? He gained the whole world, but 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 lose his soul, man. You can't make no ransom for your soul when you how about Shemal Shai comes back to judge every man, okay? That day of judgment. It, verse um the classic is eleven and nineteen, whereas he said, I have found rest and none and now will eat continually of my goods, yet he knoweth not what time shall come upon him, and that he must leave those things to others and die, man. Right. That uh, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> That's a foolish thing to do. Instead of storing up treasures with the most high, because guess what? Hey, all those riches are not gonna profit you. And who say that you you pass away tomorrow, man? You're going to leave all those things to to a fool. And guess what? You have ch children that are not wise. That's why King Solomon, I mean, King Solomon said, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Okay? Ecclesiastes 11 and 20 say, be steadfast in thy covenant and be conversant therein and wax old in thy work. That's what you're supposed to be laboring for. Laboring is truth, man. Waxing old in this truth, man. Running your spiritual bank account up. Verse 21, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in, and abide in thy labor. And our labor is in what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, making our body a living sacrifice, man. Okay? Doing the first works. They say, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on a sense to make a poor man rich. And guess what? We know that the meek are going to inherit the earth. The Lord is going to exalt those over lowly estate, man. And guess what? The 144,000, 144, 130, they're going to be rich. <laughs> as the brother Paul thought, I'd like to say, man, we're going to be rich as fuck. Okay. And the scripture said, the eyes have not seen, nor the ear heard the things that the most I have for them that love him, man. That's what we are waiting towards, man. The things of this world, we know what this world is going to bring you. We've seen people get to the top of this mountain. And guess what? It ain't even, it, it still ain't beautiful up there. The grass is not green on that other side, it, it's more darkness. Okay, just for a little comfort. But how about Shemi Hashem is going to give you eternal rest and glory and righteousness. Okay. Verse 22, it said, the blessing of the Lord is in the reward. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he make of his blessing to blessing flourish. Say not what profit is there of my service and what good things shall I have hereafter? Again, say now I have enough and possess of many things and what evil shall I have here after? Right, man. That's a foolish thing to, to, to think about. A lot of people are already planning what they're going to do two, three years from now, man. Okay. And the scripture tell you not to do that, man. Verse 25, it said in the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction. And that's what a lot of people are doing, man. They're, they're, in, the, they're in the house of mirth. When they should be in the house of mourning. It say in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. And guess what? That's what's going to come. Bad times are coming. Okay. But guess what? Those that trust in the Lord, man, they're going to be saved out of it. Verse 26. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in a day of death. Right. Great death and destruction to come upon the planet Earth, man. And guess what? Are you going to be laboring that day, day? As the scripture say, knowing all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be? 
in our holy conversation and godliness, man. What is your behavior supposed to be? Yeah, you're working because you got bills to pay. You got to still uh, maneuver in this world. But guess what? Your work, your your first works, your first occupation should be in this truth, man. Verse 27 said the affliction of an hour make of a man forget pleasures and in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. And a lot of people deeds are going to be discovered in that day and they're going to see that guess what? Their deeds are going to lead them because we know that the wages of sin are death. Because we know also the Lord said this, this who the Lord has chose. That's why it's no point to labor to be rich, man. You want to be rich in the spirit. James 2 and 5, it says this. It said, Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. That's what we want to be. We want to be heirs of the kingdom. Because that kingdom is never going to fall, never going to diminish. And the people are going to rejoice because the righteousness is going to be in authority. But you want to rejoice in, 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 under the uh, wicked rulership. You want to hold into deceit and lies. And I'm going to end it off with this back in Luke 12, verse 22. It says, <clears throat> and he said unto his disciples, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. And that's something that we have to continue to meditate upon these days we're heading into, man. Because we're heading into uncomfortable times. Okay? It says, the life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment. It says, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouses nor barns, and you have a feed of them. How much more are ye better than the fowls, man? And guess what? Lord, will we be, a, be able to escape, man, and be a part of that pilgrimage, man? That's something we're going to have to continue to set upon our hearts when the Lord tried our faith. The birds of the air have food and they don't reap or sow. And guess what? That day we're not going to be able to reap or sow. But guess what? The Lord said he's going to feed his, his servants. They're going to eat and drink and rejoice. And going to laugh. We don't know how now, but guess what? We got to have, we got to have faith in Yahweh by Shabbat. In faith in Yahweh by Shemihah Shabbat. That he is a reward of them that did not seek him, man. Because the Lord is not a man to lie. Verse 25. And which of you with, with taking thought can add to his stature? One cubic, not one of us, man. We don't have that power yet. Verse 26, if ye then be not able to do that thing, which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the leaders, how they grow, grow, they toil not, they spin not yet. I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. And we know that the things are wearing the fourth time. If I learn to think about what happened when it was in Egypt, it said their clothes are not even rent on their bodies, man. The Lord did many miracles Bringing, those, bringing our um, forefathers out of the land of Egypt, man. And guess what? This is the second exit. The Lord is going to do greater works. Okay? Well, you're going to have faith in that day. Okay? To believe on Yahweh by Shema Shai and call upon his name, man. Because that's awesome what we're going to have, man. The names of the Lord, which are very important. Verse 28, If then Yahweh so clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye a little faith, man? And we know that without faith, it is impossible to please the heavenly father. Verse 29, he seek and seek not ye what ye shall eat. He told us not to seek it or what ye shall drink. Neither be ye of a doubtful mind, man. Hey, 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 doubt not, but only believe, man. Okay. Verse 30, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh and all these things shall be added unto you. This is the point. It says, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. Right. It's the father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay? And we got to truly believe in that. Because guess what? If you don't, man, hey, it will know, know what the scriptures say, that fear is nothing but betraying of the succors, man. Our helps. You're basically down the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, which is the most powerful, the most two powerful beings in the, in the universe, man, that created this place. Verse 33 says, Say that you have and give alms, right? Hey, hey, don't, don't be, hey, be, hey, the Lord say that, um, <clears throat> um, he, he that soweth little reap of, I mean, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, uh he that soweth little reap of little, man. 
Hey, be a chill forgiver, man. The Lord love a chill forgiver, man. Because those things are going to do what? Wipe away a multitude of sins. It said, provide yourselves bad which wax not old, and a treasure in heaven that filleth not, where no thief approacheth, nor moth corruptive. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I mean, a lot of our people are going to fall into the to the steed, into the um, example of Lot's wife, because guess what? They're going to truly look back at this world, and they're going to be burnt up with fire, man. Because Sodom and, and Gomorrah was the example of the future judgment which is coming upon the planet Earth. Verse 34, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about and your light burning. Right. And, and ye yourselves like like unto men that wait for the for their Lord. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting patiently for you. How about you? I shall send you. How shall back to deliver us. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, right, those wise virgins, they, they may open unto him immediately. That's what we want to do. When the Lord comes out, we want to be ready. We don't want to be procrastinating. Or we want to have um any leaven. We want to be able to trim that fat off us, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. Verse thirty-seven said, "Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, whom the Lord when He cometh shall find watching." Verily I say unto you that He shall gird Himself, grid Himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if He shall come in the second watch. Or come in the third watch and find them so blessed are those servants, man. And that's what we want to hear. Thy good and faithful servant, man. So we're going to watch and stay occupied regardless of whatever time the Lord come, man. Because we know that no man know, um, not even the angels of heaven or, or the son himself, but only the father. Okay, no man know the day, no hour, man. So we're supposed to be laboring to be rich towards the most high. So with that, I want to end this lesson, Lord. Wouldn't I pray to be edified again? I want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwa Dash, double honors to the pastor elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful let scattered around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the prophets of Akim out there pushing words and in truth. And, and shalom to the sister Akim and out out there uh, listening and believing on the true testimony of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? And our truth and our sincerity, Barak called Akim. A Baba Ba, Shalom.